I'm Sydney Reynolds. I'm a biochemistry and molecular biology major. About a year and a half ago, I heard that there was a faculty member on campus that is a neuroscience PhD, and I thought that that was really awesome because I'm very into neuroscience and think it's really interesting. And so I kind of sought him out and talked to the girls that were already working in the lab. And so after talking to them and talking to Dr. Donnelly, he was, he's always super encouraging and was like thrilled that people are interested in it. And so he kind of took me under his wing and now and let me start working on a project. Um, and so I'm continuing with that project now and it's been a year and a half and I'm still doing it and loving it. What my research is currently is I am using an anti-epileptic drug, so a drug that is used to treat epilepsy, so seizures. And we're looking at that and seeing if looking at its potential to treat Alzheimer's essentially. Um, so we work with a type of brain cell called microglia and we use those to replicate an Alzheimer's-like environment in cell culture and then we're using the anti-epileptic drug to attempt to mediate a um, Alzheimer's-like environment. About a week before I came into college as a freshman to come run, um, I had a great summer coming in. I was in good shape hoping to come in and do well in cross country in the fall and then um, I ended up the first week of school I ended up having brain surgery for a kind of an AVM which is similar to a vascular brain tumor and so I had a surgery for that during my first week of freshman year fell into a coma had some issues because it caused an injury during the surgery that I had for it and um, I ended up that semester my first semester of college I stayed home and had to be in physical therapy for like three or four months relearning how to walk and speak and write and for a while didn't know like a circle from a square and couldn't really speak and um, yeah had to just relearn everything from scratch and was basically like a toddler for a while and had to like grow up in like four months and be ready to go to college the spring of my freshman year so it was an interesting time. The whole brain injury fiasco was kind of um, maybe a blessing in disguise maybe in a weird morbid way kind of a gift because it, um, it got me really interested or more interested in neuroscience and gave me just kind of like a passion and you now I feel more of a responsibility to do something with the time I have because I there were so many times during having surgeries and everything that it didn't look like I was going to be able to survive and continue doing what I love so now it just gives me a responsibility to continue like pursuing neuroscience and my passions.